Well, it's official. Um, not even 10 minutes ago, it was announced by uh, ESPN, Mike Copinger, that, uh, hey, I'll read it. Canelo and PBC have mutually agreed to part ways, sources told ESPN, with two fights remaining on a three-fight deal signed in June of 2023. It is uh, February the 26th, 2024. The Pat called for the, star, for the star boxer to fight Jamal Charlo on May the 4th. However, Canelo and PBC couldn't agree to terms. Jamal's twin brother, Jamel, had a lackluster performance versus Canelo in September, killing any brotherly revenge angle. And Jamal ended a, a 29-month layoff in November and failed to impress versus Jose Benavidez Jr. I like that fight. So there was limited demand for Canelo Charlo. Alvarez can now return. To the zone where he fights against Edgar Belenga, ill, and Jaime Munguia are in play for May and September. Of course, the big fights for Canelo remains to be David Benavidez and Terence Crawford. So many angles here with this. First, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't think that Canelo. Now, this is just me. Why can't I have my opinion? My opinion is Canelo didn't want no parts of. David Benavidez or Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford creates a problem for him with the movement and boxing. And me personally, I consider Canelo a 160 pounder masquerading at 168 because he gets to, you know, walk around pretty much at his natural weight or come in at his natural weight. So a Canelo and a Crawford at 160 is not too far off. I can see, listen, I'm going to tell you. And remember, for those who don't know, I'm half black, half Mexican, and half Irish. So this is not about race. Like, of course I want my countryman Canelo to win. But I think Terrence Crawford can beat him. I think David Benavidez's style and come forward pressure. And if Canelo doesn't have the power to keep somebody like David Benavidez off of him, he's going to have a long night. Do I call fighters ducks? No, nah, I don't do that. I don't do that. You can. But also, there's that other angle there of did PBC have the money up front? That's the rumor that PBC didn't have the money up front for Canelo to be like, hey, where's my 35 million? Not give me 10 on fight night and then keep breaking it down 5 million every three months of some old bullshit. No, I want my money up front. Is that the other storyline? Or another angle is. Even though Canelo would be getting the billing, Canelo versus Benavidez, Canelo would be getting the bulk of the money if the rumors are true that they offered him $5 million just to see if he would take something so they can say, well, we offered him something, meaning Canelo to Benavidez. It's like, well, we offered him, we didn't hear back from him. Could it be that, just like with Caleb Plant, Canelo may be Canelo, but is he really the A-side? David Benavidez is an Al Heyman guy. You think, like, it looks like to me that these guys are being set up to beat Canelo, to be able to pass the torch, so then the PBC guys can go in to be stars off of Canelo's name. Canelo probably knows that. The likely he does. That's why I say passing the torch. PBC has been trying to get him in there with Benavidez and you know, Canelo, obviously he sees something, you know, something ain't there that he like. Now, remember, he fought Rocky Felding, Rocky Felding, six foot four. But it's Rocky Felding and David Benavidez. Now, let me tell you, just straight honest. Berlanga, he's still working on things, you know, but I am. He should not be getting that Canelo fight. He don't deserve it. And the WBC, they got to pull their heads out of their asses and stop being scared of Canelo and say, hey, Canelo, you got to give up the belt. You got to fight Benavidez. What are we going to do? They're going to make him franchise champion again? So Benavidez is supposed to be fighting um, Alexander Volzdik. Solid fight on paper. I've seen and covered Volzdik for years. I was at that fight where he got beat up by Bertie BF. He fades late, in my personal opinion. You know, I'm going to say it. I'm not counting him out, but Benavidez is going to stop him. Supposed to stop him. Supposed to stop him. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm T-Street Controversy with Fight View 360. 
um we haven't ended with the live streams we haven't ended with content real time you see my face and all that stuff just trying something different it gets me uh, a chance to get this content out faster 22 and 0 with 17 ko's do you know the other night i'm watching the fight listening to his post fight interview and don't you say he was up don't you know he said he was up can't sleep uh because uh patrick McC mccrory he said this shit he said like you know I, I, I was i was worried about this guy i was scared he didn't say he was scared or something you know what let me play it jump cut all right we are back this is um from my post fight video on the fight the other night uh, as you can see it did a video uh head case edgar belanga stop us mccrory and six canelo better not cherry pick him i said this the other night let me uh uh, uh listen to the post fight interview the knockout win tonight who will he face next that's the big question he's standing by with chris mannix well edgar congratulations how good did it feel to get that knockout oh it feels amazing first and foremost i want to thank my lord and savior jesus christ for his victory i want to thank matchroom i want to thank the fucking goat and promotional game eddie hearns i want to thank my team team belanga keith conley Edgar Belanga Sr., Mark Wright, Ray Fright, Johnny Boy, Memo. I want to thank my team, man, my beautiful wife, uh, my son. You know, just the team, I, I feel amazing. I'm great. It feels great to be back, you know, catching a, a live body. I feel amazing. You know, you were undefeated, won your last five fights, but they all went the distance. How important was it for you to get that stoppage? Oh, it was super important. You know, I told Kaji McCorry, I said, I was losing sleep over this fight with him because People don't understand. Irish motherfuckers are strong, man. And he's undefeated. And he came to fight. Losing sleep over this? Losing sleep? And I'm supposed to want to buy this guy fighting Canelo? You know, he traveled from another country without his family, with his family, you know? I know it was tough, and he put on one of his, his uh, posts, Cinderella Man. You know, so I knew deep down in my heart they was coming to fight. Um, I, I prep very well. What was your mindset in the early rounds? Because there wasn't. Well, he loses sleep over Pat Patrick McCrory. That ain't a good sign. Yeah. Uh, well, the first thing I told my coach was, I want to, you know, see what he's get, what he's, what, he's, what I'm receiving, you know, so I can catch his timing. I feel like people are so scared, not scared, but they intimidated with my power. So I didn't want to just be um, an offensive fighter, you know. I'm learning how to put my defense before anything. Check them out, and then I start landing punches. So what changed for you in the sixth round of this fight? What were you seeing, and how were you able to get the stoppage? Um, I seen the br breakdown, you know. I knew already I was breaking him down little by little. I didn't, he's a veteran. Okay. I didn't want to go crazy until I knew I had him hurt, and that's exactly what I did. Is it a confidence boost for you, you know, getting a stoppage after everybody was wondering, where did that power go? Um, not really, you know. I knew it was there. I just got to understand that. Nobody's gonna go out in the first round, so I gotta set it up. How important was it for you to come into this fight fully healthy, to have a second training camp with Mark Fareed? How important was that for you? Amazing, man. Um, I trained damn near almost six months for this guy. You know, I worked very hard. But it wasn't really towards him, it was just myself, you know, building myself back up to who I am. You are now the mandatory challenger for the belt that's held by Canelo Alvarez. Do you believe you earned a shot at Canelo Alvarez tonight? What y'all think? Let me know, fans. Let me know. Puerto Rico! Don't call on Puerto Rico. Nah. He goes on to say he wants Canelo next. But like I said, this is ugly, man. Uh, but also, don't get it twisted. This looks bad for Canelo, too. Because if Al Heyman, let's say if Al Heyman did have the money, if they did have the money, you know, Canelo just like, it's like, look, you ain't coming over here fighting no bullshit for this money. We're going to hit you with Jamal Charlo, I right, cool, layoff. David Benavidez, I. Right. You know, did he beat up Jamal Charlo? So for him to go fight, you can say weaker competition. Because let me tell you something. I would pick Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo did struggle. He still got that liquor problem is looking like. And he did struggle with uh, Montiel. 
So I can't say I would pick Jamal Charlo confidently to beat Munguia. Would I pick Jamal Charlo to beat Mon uh, Berlanga? Yes. Would I, pe would I pick Benavidez to beat both Munguia and Berlanga? Yes. So I can say that he's going over to the zone to fight weaker competition. But we don't know, was the money an issue? I think that's the defining factor if people are going to call it a quack, quack, quack. Because if it's like, if Canelo was like, listen, I would have fought, you know, will we ever know? If Canelo was like, listen, I would have fought David Benavidez, but they said they had $55 million. I said, when can I get it? Can I get it all? And they said, well, we'll give it to you over time, champ. Is that when Canelo was like, you know what, fuck out of here. Or was all the money available and he just said, you know what, no. I don't, I'm not fighting David Benavidez. I want to fight who I want to fight. I'm Canelo. I call the shots. Those are the questions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and teach me controversy with Fight View 360. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And also, I'm going to be doing a lot more short form videos like this, except when it comes to my post fight videos. Please subscribe.